G'day everyone, I'm back with another video. This is a bit different, this video. Um, we're, gonna, we're going through a bit of a process at the moment. We're just changing our garage around, try and set up a bit, bit more of a permanent gym. Now we did actually go last week and purchase some new gym equipment, uh, pretty much one big machine, and it's supposedly being delivered today. So it pretty much gives us more more opportunity more exercises to do uh, with a industry standard machine bit of machinery smith machine and so forth a couple of benches all that sort of stuff so let's go down and uh, check out the space where it's going all right guys so just walking down to the garage so this is my garden i got a bloody big avocado tree just here that I planted when we first moved in four years ago. She's about ooh, three meters tall now. Anyway, so we'll just walk down here to the garage. This is my garage here. It's actually separate from the house. So the house is there and goes all the way back, blah, 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 on the block. And this is our garage. It is a double garage with, with a uh, tool setup, tool storage area. So this is the whole garage here. So this area over this side is pretty much, uh, it's a bit of a creative space that I wanted to create. Uh, the boys were doing drumming at the time, so we've got a set of drums. I, I've got a few guitars and stuff that I, that I play around with when I can, and it gives me an area to paint. I've got my detectors all stored up on the racks. Had to build some extra shelving out here to, just to store them all. Anyway, I've got the detectors. There's the old gold detectors. They still work. I'm going to use them soon. Um, so this is a bit of a... You've got a desk there. I used to sit down here with my computer, but it was too cold in the winter, so I thought, oh, bugger that. I'll sit up in the bloody house. Nice warmth. So this pretty much here is a, is a creative space, I suppose. Um, we do have a toilet, a little toilet in here as well. And we've got sort of garage storage stuff, all the tools and everything in there. So it is a, it is a big garage. The roof is higher too because he built it to actually have horse floats in here as well. I think he used to work in here. He used to do a lot of welding and fixing and all that sort of stuff. Now we do have a bit of gym equipment here. We've got a chin-up bar and we've actually, we've actually made pulley systems. Oops, shit pulley systems so we can use sort of these these pulleys here and they got the clips and all that We've got little plates down here uh, so you put that there put plates on and then you can do lat pull downs and stuff different bars and crap there so we do have a bit of a setup at the moment but not a real solid setup we do have a cross trainer machine there and a rowing machine so we do have a bit of cardio stuff that's actually that cross trainer is a life fitness we bought it about 10 years ago actually it costs them i think they're about 12 and a half grand um i think we got it for a couple of grand off but anyway and just a few more dumbbells and stuff here and a little bit over there exercise 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 so basically, what we've got here, we've got this space here. It's about six metres by three metres. Comes all the way down here. So we're going to put some flooring on. We've got some gym floor coming with the equipment. And we're going to put that down. And then the guys are going to set the machine up. Pretty much down this way. Probably set it up here. The end of it will be there and it'll come back this way. And sit in this spot here. So then we can still exercise free weights and stuff down here. Then we can access and walk around the machine, you know, because sometimes we've got to get to that freezer and all that stuff. So pretty much that's the setup and that's what's going to happen, hopefully, if these guys get here. I'm still waiting. I'm sort of counting on them to get here soon so we can set it all up. Anyway, once it's set up, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, I just got a phone call from the uh, supplier of the gym equipment. They're going to be here in around 40, 45 minutes. So hopefully uh, 
we'll get it set up very soon. There we are. Here it is, uh, the floor's been installed. I just gotta clean up a bit of crap off the floor. Here's the machine itself. This is all from Nirvana Fitness. Uh, fitness supplier. So you've got, you've got the pull downs up here. Pull down bar there. You got the uh, low bar down there. So you can do the, the pulley system. There's the Smith bar. Load it up, and do squats and bench press and all that. You got the chin up bars all across the top. Uh, the only thing he didn't have, the only thing he couldn't put on properly was the dip bars, which he's going to send me some new ones, so we can um, we can use the do the dips. You can get this bench here too. It goes down to decline as well. And so that's pretty good. That's the new gym outfit at the moment. So we got the cross trainer at the back. We've got this machine here now. We do more weights with. We've got the, got the chin up bar still over here, which we can do pulley weights on that still. So this is pretty much permanent setup now, permanent fixture. And this is area here will be just free weights. So yeah, turned out pretty damn good. And not only that, but uh, they gave us a, a set of these lock and load collars. Uh, you put them on the end of the barbells and lock the weights on. And a drink shaker, new drink shaker from Nirvana Fitness. Pretty cool. That's good. So, so now we've got a bigger setup. Should be pretty good. We've got a fair few weights here. We may just have to get a few more plate weights. Um, we probably don't have enough 20s. And we may need some 15s as well. But all in all, she's a pretty good looking setup at the moment. Pretty cool. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Just thought I'd do a quick little video. Just a little project I'm doing at home. Me and my wife setting up a more permanent based gym uh, than what we already had. And if you're wondering where we got the equipment from, this new piece of equipment, I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, you can check out their website, they got everything pretty good. And the blokes are good too, thanks Ken for uh, putting it all together for me. I'm Chris, Indoors Outdoors with Edgy. See you on the next weights session.